song is the number 536, 536. At the lamb's high feast we sing praise to our victorious King, who has washed us in the tide, flowing from His tears and sighs. Great be Him whose love divine gives His sacred blood for wine, gives His body for the feast. Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the castle blood is poured, <coughs> death's dark angel sheaves his sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ who blood was shed. Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, peace we men of from above. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Alleluia. 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 Friends, as we gather this morning to celebrate these Easter mysteries, let us pause for a moment as we call to mind and humbly confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of error, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. She was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, she grew in numbers. As Peter was passing through every region, he went down to the Holy Ones living in Leda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who had been confined to bed for eight years, for he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. He got up at once. And all the inhabitants of Leda and Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Now in Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. She was completely occupied with good deeds and almsgiving. Now during those days she fell sick and died. So after washing her, they laid her out in a room upstairs. Since Leda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men with, to him with the request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them. When he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs where all the widows came to him weeping and showing him the tunics and cloaks that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter sent them all out 
and knelt down and prayed. Then he turned to her body and said, Tabitha, rise up. She opened her eyes, saw Peter, and sat up. He gave her his hand and raised her up, and when he had called the holy ones and the widows, he presented her alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many came to believe in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the disciples of Jesus who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe and the one who would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you, that no one can come to me unless it is granted to him by my Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer walked with him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Jesus Christ. Christ. Sometimes I joke about all the different things that are going on here in the parish, and I like to refer to it, of course, as the kingdom of God. There's just all manner of amazing things going on in the kingdom of God. There are just certain days, times, weekends when we celebrate every sacrament except for perhaps ordination, um, and this is one of them. So this weekend we are going to uh, give First Communion to several young people, um, and celebrate with their families. Uh, tomorrow we celebrate the sacrament of confirmation, the Holy Spirit coming down on the young people to fill them with the Spirit and with life. Um, so this is one of those times in the life of our parish community when the Holy Spirit is coming down. The Spirit is going to be hard at work uh, among our people. Um, Jesus said, the words that I have spoken to you are spirit 
and life. Uh, The flesh is of no avail. Uh, It is the spirit that awakens in us. Um, Let's pray for those young people who are coming forward to be confirmed in their faith uh, tomorrow. Um, Let's pray that the Holy Spirit may enliven them and fill them with life. This is the will of the Father, that all have life and have it to the full, have it with great abundance. Um, Let's ask the uh, bishop to uh, preach words that affect the the lives of the young people, that draw them closer to the Lord in faith. Let's pray for all the families uh, who are going to be celebrating special sacraments, special occasions this weekend, for those who are preparing as well. Uh, I'm meeting with um, some wedding couples today who are getting ready to celebrate the sacrament of marriage. Um, All these things are wonderful. They're signs of life and vitality, but they're also evidence of the work and movement of the Holy Spirit in our midst. So let's ask the Lord to turn up the fire of the Spirit uh, in our fellowship, in our community that we may bear abundant fruit, good fruit, for the kingdom of the Lord, and that we may make real the presence of the Lord among us. Um, The Son of Man will soon ascend. We will uh, celebrate the ascension of the Lord to where he was before, as he says in the passage of John's Gospel. Um, But... He will not leave us alone because he will send his spirit yet again um, to fill us with power, to witness to his life, his goodness, and his blessing. So we have come, as the disciples have, as Peter himself confessed, to believe, and we are convinced that Christ himself is the Holy One of God. May his spirit Cleanse us, renew us, and fill us with life and power and hope that we may share the gift of God's Spirit with all, especially with those who are in any need. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. With trust in God's goodness, we offer the Lord our prayers and intentions. For Pope Francis, our shepherd, may the Lord grant him courage in leading the church in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayers. For those in positions of civil authority, may the Holy Spirit guide them in seeking to build societies upon the gospel principles of holiness and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer this day, may Jesus comfort them in their affliction and provide hope for tomorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit give us eyes to see the Lord's presence all around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked as Christ's own forever, may God welcome them home into the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick of our community, for those who are recovering from medical procedures, from surgery. Um, Let's pray for all those who are in need of healing at this time, remembering especially Jim Schultz, Dolores, Lorraine Johnson, Kate, Melissa, Patty W, Veronica. Let's also please continue to pray for uh, Father Paul, for Deacon Brian, as they continue to recover from their medical procedures. And we pray um, also for Paul, Stephan, um, for his full recovery and for his family as they care for him and minister to him. For all the sick of our community, and for those who care for the sick and minister to them. And we commend to the Lord all of our departed loved ones, especially those for whom our Mass is offered this morning, John C. Noonan, Lambert Schomer, and Marilyn Veritek. We also remember Bob Higgins, whose funeral is this morning in the church at 10 a.m. 
And we also pray for the repose of the soul of Kathleen Sweeney, who recently passed away, and for all of our departed loved ones, whom we commend to God's goodness and mercy. And finally, let's commend ourselves and all of our loved ones, living and departed, to the intercession of Mary, the glorious and ever-Virgin Mother of God, and greet her as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. <coughs> Thy womb, Jesus, Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for God us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The merciful love of the Lord fills the earth. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. We ask, O Lord, in your goodness and mercy that you hear and answer these humble prayers. We lift up to you in faith, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands hands for the praise of Lord his name, for our good, Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, the Lord, and, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, with Geoffrey, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have, hope, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially those for whom our Mass is offered. John Lambert, Marilyn, and also remembering Bob and Kathleen and all of our departed loved ones, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Gilbert, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As Christ our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. God bless you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my my roof. roof. Only Only say say the word, and my soul soul shall be healed. healed.
The Lord said, Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks Thank be you. to God. Our closing hymn is number 542. That Easter day with joy was bright. 542. That Easter day.